Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change the valve cover or PCV in this 2011 Chevy Cruze. Now, if your engine light is on, and you get a PO171 bank system too lean or any of these other descriptors, come up to the engine and pop this cover off. Once you take the cover off, come up here to your PC. And if you hear it sucking, you got a bad valve. Now, pop the hood and blow the engine off. Come over here, remove this cover, and disconnect the negative battery terminal post with a 10 millimeter. Remove this cover here by prying up here and then on the back. It'll come right off. All right, unplug your coil pack. Use a screwdriver, push this pla yellow plastic back. Then you can kind of get this guy and twist as you're pushing this piece down. Push down, twist, and then it'll slide right off real easy and take that all the way off. Use a T30 to take the two bolts off of your coil pack. Use two hands to break coil pack loose from the spark plugs and go ahead and pull it out, set it aside. Use compressed air to blow around the cover. Get rid of any other dirt you don't want in your engine. Go ahead and start moving all the stuff on the side of the uh, cover. Tricky parts are gonna be here. You're gonna need a flathead. You're gonna really have to get under there and pry this clip off. You'll see, just be careful, don't break it. The backs just pull out, very simple. There's a guy here, you can use your finger. You'll feel the clip that pulls that off. Go around and use a E10 star looking socket. Loosen all these up. The bolts won't pull out, but they'll stop. Pro tip here, after you get all those broke loose, you can use a drill or impact driver and uh, quickly get them unscrewed. Save yourself a bit of time. Now, go around and start to pry very gently from the top of the engine onto the plastic. Just keep going around and you'll feel, feel it start to pop. Keep playing, eventually everything will come loose. Go ahead, pull out your dipstick, take this oil cap off, and then you'll be able to pull it out. And there you go, you got it out. After you're done admiring all the shiny components and wondering how that sludge and crap got there, you're going to have to take off this old gasket. So peel that back, clean up the surface as best you can. I'm now going to go around and clean it off this aluminum housing. With 85,000 miles on it, this stuff was not coming off easy. I used a uh, razor blade. You have to use extreme caution if you do this, though, because you might scratch the aluminum housing. Um, they make a plastic scraper that should work just as well. You'll see that in the next photo. That was about $4 at AutoZone. Um, after I get done scraping um, all the old material off, I go around and I vacuum out any stuff that fell inside the engine. I also try to get some of the gunk and crud out of there. Then I go around and wipe it off with brake fluid cleaner. Here you can see the uh, Permatex Forma Gasket number 2 non hardening that I use. Now, not only did the trouble of oil leak. Alright, we got the old valve leak. cover here. You can see the part number on it. The old style. Here's the new style. A little bit different. Don't know how that improves it, but whatever. And then the new part number. After we wait a couple minutes for that to tack up, everything's clean, good to go. You make sure this gasket's nice pressed in, your new valve cover. You're gonna go ahead, fadondle that in there and get that all seated and start screwing her down. Okay, once you get this back on, feels good. Just go around and start hand tightening all the bolts. You're gonna wanna go around and torque these down in the order that you're gonna about to see next to 71 inch pounds. 8 newton meters, or 80 centimeter newtons, something like that. Get those torqued down, go ahead put your oil cap on, put your dipstick in, go around and reclip everything in, and since I'm here, I'm going to end up doing my spark plugs because of my mileage. See what yours is at and decide for yourself if you should do yours as well. Go. Uh, there will be a link in my the description of this video on my video of how to do the spark plugs, real easy. Go ahead, put a little bit of the dielectric grease inside the boots here, and also make sure that each spring is facing out. It's not hung up on the plastic because it might fold in when you go ahead and install this. Guide your coil pack in and just push it in and guide it straight till it stops. Use that T30, torque those down 71 inch pounds. Go ahead, reconnect that wire, make sure the plastic clips clips in. Okay, once you reconnect the battery, start her back up. No engine light. Let's come up here to the front. See what's going on. 
I'm good. Not getting any air, so I think we fixed our problem. Go ahead and put your cover back on after you clean it up. Snap her down, and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching my YouTube how-to video on this. Check out other videos I have in my channels and whatnot, and thank you. Have a good day. And you can see where it's cracked. See it right there? And then if we look even more, it's all ripped up down there, so that's where the airflow is coming. Good thing we replaced it. Here's a screenshot of the valve cover I bought on Amazon on the price you can expect to pay. This part has actually gone through four different uh, part numbers. Um, you can see the history of it here. Number four is the latest that you'll want to look for. And also the very last thing I recommend doing is changing your oil within 500 miles after doing this just to get rid of any dirt that may have contaminated it.